Welcome to our team call. I don't even know the date. It's like two days before month end, April 29th. Tonight we are talking Success Club, but we did a whole call on like how to hit Success Club and like how to do it so that you're not time crunched at the end of the month. Because you guys, nobody likes like to be at the end of the month and you're like, oh my gosh, I need two more points. So there's a whole nother call we did on that so that you don't have to face the end of the month and be like, I'm not there yet. But if you are there, we've all been there. So it happens. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight is like what you can do. Do not give up. You guys, I've hit success club the last hour of the month before you. Yeah. Lindsay too. Like you do what needs to be done and you hustle, you make it a non-negotiable. That's it's always been a non-negotiable. Like I, I hit success club every month, every single month as a coach. And like, it's just what we do as coaches. So it's not even an option not to hit it. And tonight we're going to give you some tips for those who aren't on that success club board. Um, first, just a couple housekeeping tips. Summit qualifications for rank advancement is coming up June the 6th. So if you are coming to Summit, you're going to want to see your name up on those big billboards. Like when you walk through the hall, when you get there, you're all excited. You see these giant banners hanging from the ceiling and you find your name, you get your picture with it. It is so cool. And you're just like, you get recognized. So, and then there's also stage recognition, depending on what rank you're going for. So you need to wake up the date of June 6th whatever rank you want to be recognized for at summit. So write that in your calendar. And also you need to wake up as an Emerald coach minimum on June or no, the day of our pool party, whatever that Thursday is, July, something you need to be at our pool party. So you need to be an Emerald coach or so whether you're an Emerald coach now or not, you need to be an Emerald coach that day. So not lifetime Emerald, you need to wake up an Emerald on that day. And then you can come party with us. It's gonna be so much fun. So that's why it's really important to keep building. If you're Emerald now and you have two coaches underneath you, that is very shaky. Like you need to keep building so you have some buffers. So in case, cause some will go inactive, it happens all the time. Or someone will delay their Shakeology, and then they'll bump into inactive and all of a sudden you drop from Emerald to coach and you're like, oh crap, now I need to find another one. So that's why it's like constantly be sharing about the coaching opportunity and inviting to coaching so that you can build up your team so that you're not worried or about being unshaky or about being shaky, I guess is the word. Um, there's also a tailgate party. I don't know if you guys noticed if you're going to summit, you need to be at success club 10 for April and May to get your, your invite to the tailgate party. So at summit, they throw like each body throws this big party and the super trainers will be there. There's food. It's so much fun. There's a theme. It's the tailgate party. You dress up, you see all the coaches, the team will be there. Um, but you need to, to get the invite. You have to be success club 10 this month and next month. So there's another little incentive to uh, hit success club this month. So, okay, why Success Club is important, and I think you guys know this, but for some of the newer coaches, so Beachbody made Success Club because coaches that hit it earn 200 to 300% more in income that, like, that hit it consistently than coaches who don't. It's the foundation of our business. It proves that we're moving our business forward. It gives us walking billboards, like people that you help get results. Now they're your walking billboards. That's the best promotion for your business. You can get is when someone else says, says to someone, you look great. What do you do? And they're like, Oh my gosh, you need to talk to my coach. She's amazing. I do this group and they're raving fans for you. The best is getting referrals. So that when you hit success club, that's new clients that you have getting results who are sending you referrals and talking about you and how amazing you are, but also who you can, groom and encourage and hopefully they'll become coaches down the road because they love the product so much they're seeing results but if you're not hitting success club and getting them plugged into challenge groups you have a way smaller pool of people to work from so it's not just a number it's people you're helping it's people you're helping get results 
who you can also help grow a business as well. Like that, this changes lives, getting them results, but also getting them plugged in and joined as a coach will change their life on an even bigger scale. Okay, so I just gotta bump up my chair. I feel like I'm sinking. <laughs> Woo! There we go. All right, so I have some tips, and do you guys all have your phones oh, ready to do a little bit of work? Because like we're down to the crunch. You can't just sit here and listen to me talk because you gotta work. All right, so first time, first five minutes, we are going to message three people. So this could be sister, mom, I've done it many times too, um, and ask them to share your recent call to action. So just say, mom, I just posted this call to action or what maybe you posted it yesterday about your recent challenge group. Just say, can you please share this on your social media so more people see it? That's it. Of course they're gonna help you, why not, right? So message right now, if you don't have a call to action, post it, then post one or post it tonight if you can't think of one right now, post it tonight. And then as soon as you post it, message your mom, your sister, your best friend. You guys all know three close people where you can be like, do you mind sharing this for me? I did that so much as a new coach. Okay, so everyone, take a few minutes, I'll time, and then send the message. And you can even uh, copy the link to the actual post to make it easier for them and send them the link and say, here's my recent link. Do you mind just sharing it? All right. One more minute. Okay, so I hope you guys are done. If not, you can do it after and finish up. Now we would like everyone, I know you've had people who ghost at you, so that means they're not replying or they said, yeah, I wanna buy, and then you never heard back from them again. That's so normal, you guys, so normal. It happens to us all. Um, and if you haven't, then you probably haven't talked to enough people. <laughs> And I wanted to mention something too, before we get into that part is the mindset thing, because I had a coach message me today and she said, uh, nobody wants to buy right now. Everyone just wants beach body on demand. I'm like, whoa, I said, no, that's not the case, but that's what the story you're telling yourself. You need to switch that mindset because not everyone wants beach body on demand. People want challenge packs. They just, it's when you're putting that energy out there of like, this is what, what people want you're putting yourself in a little bubble and that's the energy you're gonna get back. I want you guys to have mantras every day and this is kind of off, off topic, but for the longest time, like in my, I do my like daily affirmations, I actually say and write down driven people ready to work and want are messaging me every day to join the business. Motivated women ready to purchase are, are sending me a message to join my group. And I say it all the time, like driven women ready to, work the business are messaging me every day to work the business motivated people ready to buy like you can say it in whatever words you want but I'm like motivated people ready to buy are coming out of the word work to join my business and when you change that thinking like there's so many people that spend so much money on weight loss things that if we're limiting ourselves and saying like nobody wants to buy this right now then nobody's gonna want to buy it right now but there's 
millions and millions of people who need help from you. And if you just need one more person to help to hit success club, like that's a huge amount of people that you just need one more person to help. You can do it, but don't limit yourself by telling yourself these negative things that are going to hold you back from hitting that goal. Also having the belief in our products, you guys, you've got to be using the products for one, be proof the products work, show up. If someone doesn't want to do it, that is their loss. And then be like, okay, I'm moving on, but you just keep watching me and I'm going to just keep posting my transformations and you'll be jealous because I'm going to look amazing and sucks to be you that you're missing out on this. Have that, like that stance, that posture that you're like, who wouldn't want to do this with you? Don't be apologetic about it. Be like, boom, this is what I'm having to offer. Like, do you want to do this with me or not? If they're like, no, I'm like, cool. But break it down for them. Whenever someone gives an objection, always say, like, break it down, whether it's price, whether it's they don't have time, because a lot of times that's just an excuse and you need to dive a little deeper with it. So never just say, okay, I'll reach you again next month or okay, no problem, chat soon. No, you need to like go back on that objection because so many people put up their defense right away and they think of the first thing they can think of to get you to be like, okay, never mind. When they really need it, they're just scared or they don't believe that it will work for them. So you've got to dive deeper. Um, but having that stance and that posture and confidence when you're approaching them, but that comes from using the product. So you need to be like getting yourself a transformation so that you have that confidence about what we do. And that just totally derailed me. So let's get back to our next task. So anyone that has ghosted you, you're going to send them a message and say something like, Hey Jackie, maybe it wasn't the right time when I when we chatted before. I just want to let you know it's totally okay, but we just got the group started and it's blowing up. People are doing amazing and I don't want to leave you out in case you're still interested. Yeah. Do you mind letting me know either way? That would be awesome. What's a nickname for me that's like not weird? <laughs> so <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Just on that point, one of the people I was talking to the last couple of days, yeah. I messaged her again and just said something really similar, like, hey, I just wanted to reach out again. Like, I know you saw my post the other day. Like, she had liked it. She clearly saw it. Yeah. And um, her response was like, oh, I actually forgot to respond. So I think to go back to the mindset piece about all of this is like, you think that people ghosting you are intentionally being like, no, I don't want to answer that girl she's talking to me it's like things happen and you know you initiating another conversation after someone likes a post or views your story is not you being aggressive towards them you know so so it's all about the mindset I guess is where I'm going back to 100% and Lindsay actually went live in our page the other day and explained like when you reach out to someone else and you want help like a service her her example was getting your car serviced and you're looking for the cheapest service the person that follows up with you and checks back like is there anything else i can help with help you with did i answer all your questions like how's it going that is the person that's gonna get your business right because you show that you care you're not just inviting and then moving on if you invite and move on without following up that does not look good on us at all like you've got to show that you actually care about helping them you're gonna check back in with them because so many times I'll get a message, I'll be out somewhere and I'll open it and I'm like, crap, like I'll reply to it later. And, or your kids want you spur of the moment and you don't get back to the message and you forget. So that happens to people all the time. So everyone's go to their people that ghost it and send them a message now and just be super cool and end it with, if you could let me know either way, that would be awesome. All right, go. And if anyone is stuck on what to say, just post in the comments or unmute yourself and I can help. Can you just say again what we're supposed to say? Something about group is blowing up. Oh, sure. Um, well, I was just using an example because my group started today. Whoever's talking, I can't yeah. see who's talking. Did your group start today? Yes. Okay, so I would say, hey, I just wanted to reach out because our group actually started today and people are 
or the group is blowing up with excitement and I didn't want you to miss out. You can still get in, but if it's not the right time, that's totally okay. I just don't want to leave you out. I know I'm saying a lot of words. If yep. you end it with, if you could let me know either way, that would be awesome. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I find too, if you say like, I just don't want to leave you out if you're still interested. That just shows like, all right, she cares about me. She wants me to do it. All right, I'm gonna keep moving on and you guys can always go back and continue doing those things after the call. Just cause it cuts us off at 40 minutes. Okay, so now we have our no's and there's been people that say no and probably I'm gonna take a guess and say 95% of you on here tonight have said no to your coach at least once. Like, yeah, I see some of you smile. Ah, I'm getting all the smiles. I was like, me, I'm like, yeah, it's only taken three years for a bunch of you. Denise, Caitlin, Amanda, we're all like three years of saying no to me, but they watched me and now look at them on this call, right? So, okay, we're gonna send a messages, messages to all of the no's and just ask if now is a better time, ask them, like let them know you have a group starting and you would love to work with them and just say, maybe it wasn't the right time last time, but I just wanted to check in. Would now be a better time? That's it. Like you're not gonna die. And the worst they can say is no, it's not a good time. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, let's go. Don't even think about it. Sometimes if people overthink it, they're like, ah, oh, she's gonna think I'm weird. Just send the message. <laughs>
And voice memos work really, really well for follow-ups too. Just an FYI. You guys should have lots of no's. I was listening on Bob Heilig's call today and it's just like a training thing I do. And um, he was saying, he had someone message him and they're like, no, nobody's interested. No one's interested. And it's never that no one's interested. It's like, you're not talking to enough people. Like what was it? 10 or 11 people. I think that person contacted and everyone should be contacting or reaching out to a minimum of a hundred people a month. That's just over three people a day. So if you aim for like three to five people a day, then you're going to, you're going to get people to that want to do this, but you need to like put it, put yourself out there more. Or if everyone's saying no, send your coach a screenshot of your conversations and they can help whoever your upline is, or if it's me, send me a screenshot and I can help with conversations. Cause sometimes it's just the wording isn't right. They just like, you're turning off that person by something you're saying or your word vomiting or whatever it is. Um, so, we can help. That's always something you can even post in Fierce Factor or 180 Nation and, or Unite It, and we can help with that compost. All right, we're gonna move on from that, but definitely check in. Ah. <laughs> definitely check in with all of your no's, because they're always not right now. And I know we say that a lot, but a no is always just a not right now. And now all those people are watching you, so it's never a waste of time to reach out. Okay, this next tip has helped me so much. Like if you guys wanna hit Success Club by tomorrow night, you need to do this. Message three or more of your best challengers and just give them a compliment. Like the way I said it was, hey, who was it, Janice? Hey Janice, like you know I love having you in the group. You show up. I wish all of my challengers were as committed as you. I would love to work with more people like you do you mind sharing and i got them to share my call to action or you can say is there anyone that you know that i could reach out to that you mind if i reach out to that might be interested in doing this group with us because if they're your challengers and you're helping them they're gonna have no problem helping you and anyone i've messaged like that they're just like oh my gosh of course like your groups are awesome so either reach out and say like, send them your link to your call to action and say, do you mind sharing this for me? Because you have like results or you're in the group, so you have some experience and I would love to work with more people like you. So you can get them to share your call to action or ask if there's anyone that they know that you could work with. And like my last group, they I got them to share my call to action and I got probably like five people from three of them sharing it because that just proves that's like proof the product works coming from someone else's mode that's like a huge referral um and then they add a lot of them will add like a little thing like oh this is my awesome coach you'll love her you should check out her group when they do the share they'll add in a little bit sometimes so that's like an extra bonus so do you guys all have someone you can ask to share or to ask for a referral awesome perfect can i use a call to action from the 20th or should I make a new one? Uh, I would, it depends, Denise. Um, I would do, I would do another one, you know, I would, and just say like, um, oh my gosh, what? Last call, last call, group start, group starting today, or like create that urgency. I don't know what your call to action look like, so I can't say whether it would be a good one to share or not. Um, transformation posts. Yes, Caitlin, exactly. You just said it. Tra transformation posts make the best call to actions. It speaks volumes. Anytime I post a transformation post, I always have at least one person message me saying, okay, I'm ready now. I see what you're doing. I see you. Sign me up. <laughs> so highly encourage you to do that. Done deal on it. Yes, Denise. Denise needs She's at Success Club 4, and she's earning her free summit ticket with one more person. And you're doing it, girl. You're doing it. We are all cheering for you. Do it. Yeah. Two more points, but that's one challenge pack. One person. You got it. We will send you all of our energy. 
Yay, everyone's cheering for you, Denise. <laughs> All right, so send those messages, ask them. People won't have any problem with sharing that for you. Like, even, I was gonna say you could send them a little something, but I don't think you even need to do that. Yes, everyone has tons of time. Like we have till tomorrow night. I've even bought my mom a challenge pack for her birthday. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I think that was the one where I hit it the last hour of the month. I'm like, I think my mom needs a country heat challenge pack and her birthday was like the next month. I'm like, perfect, I'll give it to her for her birthday. Boom, I had success well. That was stressful. I never want to be in that position. <laughs> Yes, Jocelyn. I'd love for you guys to share if you have any like feedback or people reply back while we're on the call because that's always fun. Okay. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hi. <laughs> so I have been talking with one of my cousins for a while now about all of this and she just reached out to me uh, last week asking me for more information um, about the different options. Yeah. So I had sent her a little blurb that Lindsay had shared with me um, offering the ultimate portion fix as the first option and then just like a just the base challenge pack as the secondary option and she didn't respond. So I sent her a message this evening and just saying, um, I just wanted to check in, see if you have any questions about the program or want any more information that I may have left out. And she just responds with, I don't think I'm ready. And so I responded, I think, honestly, I think you would love it and that it's so flexible for you and your hubby schedule. And her response is, I'm in really poor shape with a bad back. Okay. So I'm not sure, like she's an older cousin, like she's probably like in her fifties. So I'm not sure like how to respond. I would say, and this is for 21 day fix, is it? Yeah. So do you just have like a nutrition program to start with her? Oh yeah. Well, even just talk about say, well, the nutrition program alone is going to help you get some really great results. Mm -hmm. And then one, does she have a lot of weight to lose? I don't think so. No. So, but even once she starts like getting on the nutrition plan, it's going to help her start getting results, but the confidence too, to want to try to explore and use some of the workouts. Um, but I would always use like the feel felt found. And even if it's not your own experience, do you have another client who like had, like I always use my mother-in-law as an example. Like my mother-in-law started with 21 day fix. She had a bad hip, a bad knee. She modified so much as she was like barely doing each move but she was doing something and it was getting her moving and she was strengthening up her body enough that she did four rounds of 21 day fix starting barely modifying. And then she went into 21 day fix extreme and like killed it and was so strong. She was doing push ups. It was just like, it was crazy, but getting her nutrition in check helped her body like heal, but also just gaining that strength little by little, which your client can, and then doing it full out. Like they don't have to start out doing it full out, like start small and work your way up. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I think a lot of it is just giving them the belief. Like, I know you can do this. Like I've seen it. My clients like just kind of give that example, like a real life example. And then other people are like, okay, it is possible. <laughs> and always end to like, if, if she has a doubt say, and you know what, if you hate it or if you don't get results, send it back and get your money back. That's like Beachbody is amazing for doing that. So you have nothing to lose. I was just gonna say really quick too, Catherine. Um, my mom has really bad brucitis in her back. Um, she's on like, anyway, it, it's pretty bad and she's not able to exercise. She just started eating um, like with the portion control two weeks ago. And like, cause she really struggles with nutrition. Um, and just in those two weeks, she's like, her back is a lot better. And I truly believe that that's from um, 
like eliminating a lot of the, because the foods can have like an inflammatory response, right? And as soon as I explained that to her, she was like, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. And now it's almost a little bit easier to keep up with her nutrition because she's seeing the results already. Yeah. And that's without even like working out. So now she's starting to go on like small walks and slowly build up. So even just starting with the nutrition has been like that's a amazing. huge start for her. So yeah. I love it. Thank you, Kayla. Welcome. It's so true. Like bad foods and sugar and crap that get, creates so much inflammation in our body. Everything gets sore. Um, so yeah, definitely use that as an example. And also the Shakeology too is very anti-inflammatory. So that will help as well. If she's getting the challenge pack. Okay. Oh, ah, we're running out of time. Okay, here we go. So I want you guys all to do a story on your Instagram talking about whether you had a group start today and you can all, if you want to shut off your screens, if you feel funny doing it on here, but go on your thing and talk about day one. Just be like, I can't believe how like this many people showed up in our challenge group. We all crushed it. If you guys want to get in, I will leave it open till the end of the, till tomorrow night because I want more people to do this because it's amazing. Whatever you want to say, but just talk about if today was your day one, how it went, or if it's not your day one, talk about how your group is going, share a success story, say something about your boot camp, and even do a poll. Polls are great, and say, it could say like, um, do you want more info? And always have two positives, so have like, yes, I'm ready, and then maybe I'm curious. So it's not like a yes and a no. So you can put a poll in it, tag a location in your story, put up to 10 hashtags and squeeze them down and cross them out of, over to the side so that they can reach more. Does that all make sense to everybody? I see some people are like, multiple choice options. I love the multiple choice options. I used it for the first time today. Jacqueline, you look like you have a scary look on your face. <laughs> Does that all make sense what I just okay, said? That makes sense. I probably was concentrating now. I was looking at my challenge group trying to count how many people did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. How are you feeling anyway, Jacqueline? You're due, right? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm due September 1st, so I'm 22 weeks now. Um, yeah, it's, it's going well. I'm just like starting to take out the jumps and stuff like that, but I'm modifying and yeah, it's going really well. Yeah. Amazing. You need to follow Katie White. Katie's on here. Katie, you're 35 weeks. You're 36. 36 weeks. Like, I'm just like, if anyone can show up for friggin' workouts and she's 36 weeks pregnant, you guys all need to follow her because she kills it. She shows up, she shows up for business. And like, I'm just like, how? <laughs> like, I remember when I was 36 weeks, I was crawling up the stairs. I don't even know how you do it, Katie, but it's amazing. Um, okay, back to work. Oh, the story. And thing. that's not wine I'm drinking. Sorry, it's ginger ale, just in case everybody's looking at me. I'm like, no judging, no judging, Jacqueline. Uh, I'm excited to meet you at Summit. Awesome. I'm so excited. Um, oh, Tracy, the stories. Um, what was the thing? I missed it because baby was crying. So I want everyone to make an Instagram story right now and to eat and to talk about like, if today was your day one of your challenge group, how it went, like show mega excitement that it was like so awesome. Or if it wasn't day one, just talk about your challenge group and put a poll option, uh, video. Oh yeah. Sorry. I should have said I would do a video so people can really get a sense of your excitement, not just a post, talk about it. And you can even do a screenshot of like something from your group as well, or something you shared like for nutrition. Um, but yeah, I would do a video and then do a poll. Do you want more info? And then put like, yeah, I mean, I'm ready. Or I'm curious. Like th those two options, something like that. So it's two positives. Okay, I'm going to keep moving on. There's only like one other thing. But you guys, this is your homework. I want to see it. I'm going to creep all of your Instagrams. <laughs> um, okay, so we did your story. And then tomorrow, okay, so your homework tomorrow is everybody that views that story, because you can go and see it, tomorrow you're going to go and private message everyone that saw that story from tonight and just say something like, i got to think on the spot, 
Hey Jackie, I saw you pop up on my Instagram story last night. Thanks so much for following. You probably see me share about my boot camps all the time. They're so crazy awesome. Did you want me to send you some info on them? Question mark. That's it. Always end in the question, but they're seeing your stuff. They see your, your stories and they saw your boot camp story that you're going to post tonight. So that's a really easy way to message them and reach out. They're watching you. They're on your territory. So don't be like, oh, I don't want a cold message. They're already in your space. They're watching you. So it's not a cold message. That's a warm market. So that's your homework for tomorrow. So tonight, post your story. Tomorrow, reach out. I just want to make sure I get through all this because there's three minutes left. Tomorrow, reach out to all those people that saw your story. <clears throat> and also, everyone, so if you've been a coach for a while, on your share cart, you've had, you can see all of the share carts you've ever sent out that they weren't completed. You guys, it happens. Someone's like, sure, I'm ready. You send them the share cart and all of a sudden, oh, where'd they go? Yeah. I don't see you <laughs> and you never hear from them. Well, now you have all of those people there. Reach out to those people. Those people were once so committed that they were this close to joining and something held them back. So reach out to everybody that has been in your share cart that never completed the enrollment and ask them, is now a good time? What was holding you back? I'd love to still work with you. So that's something, so you guys can write these down to do for tonight or tomorrow. I, we just don't have time to sit and do them on a call. And then last thing is tomorrow, or tonight if you want to do it tonight, um, share a killer transformation. And I know we talked about transformations already. Share them on your stories. So after you do your, your story tonight about your group, you can share some transformations. And we have them in our team page. There's an album called Team Transformations. Any of those ones in there are free game because when I asked people to share them into the group, I said, anyone here is basically giving permission for other coaches to use them. So you can use them. That's what they're there for. Um, so use the transformations, share them in your stories, but I would pick one or two. I wouldn't do a whole bunch of them on like your Facebook because that just gets overwhelming. And I don't know. I just don't like the look of it visually. It's kind of a lot to take in. So people will probably scroll by. But I would take even one, the best one that you can find, or the one that mostly resonates with you. Like when you see it, you're like, oh, like maybe it's, they have a similar body or whatever. But talk about how you felt, and you can relate it. So if it's not you, just be like, this is my friend, blah, blah, blah. She's doing our groups. I started these groups and I felt like this. Talk about how you felt. When you talk about how you feel and how you felt before, that, that's what people are gonna resonate with. Talk about what you look like when you, or what you felt like when you looked in the mirror. Talk about your energy. Talk about your struggles, what you struggle with so much. Because those struggles is what someone else watching that post is gonna struggle with too. And then talk about how you feel now and how do the, doing these programs has helped you with those struggles. It's not about posting the facts, like, oh, it's 30 minutes and it's this, this, and this. They wanna connect with you on how, how you're doing now, but how your struggles were, or sorry, what your struggles were, and how you felt before you started. That's what's gonna attract those people that felt exactly like you did. Does that all make sense? Those are all my pointers. I was like trying to think like, what will help them all hit success club by tomorrow night? So I pulled out my best stuff. <laughs> I hope it helped. Now I want you guys to post in our team pages. So I think most of you,